Learn scuba diving with Above Below Tours. We start this video with an in-class theory of how pressure affects your body. But for this video, we will introduce the scuba equipment. First, take off the tape, then slip the BCD onto your tank and make sure the nozzle is facing forward. When tightening the strap, make sure it's secure. You can use your legs to help stabilize the tank. Make sure your regulators are on your right side and your SPG is on your left. Then, unscrew the nozzle cap. Screw it onto your tank valve and make sure it's as tight as you can with just three fingers. Place your SPG face down or against the tank and unscrew the tank valve completely. Then do a quarter turn back. This is called your dump valve. It releases air from your BCD. Next, attach all your hoses to your clips to prevent dangling. Now it's time to put on your wetsuit, then your weight belt. Ensure that you grab the strap on the correct side and have a right hand release. Clip in your straps to your fins, then loosen them before you put them on, then pull to tighten. Put the mask to your face, suck in, and hold your breath to check whether the mask fits properly. The strap should fit on the crown of your head. Now you're ready to get your feet wet and learn some basic skills. Descending for the first time and taking your first breaths using scuba is exciting for every beginner diver. Remember to equalize your ears often so you won't feel discomfort. While swimming around weightless and breathing underwater, you will feel what it's like to be a fish. You will soon join their environment and observe how they act in their natural surroundings. Here are some basic hand signals you will learn. This is the giant stride entry. Signal OK by touching your head. Thin pivot by adding a little bit of air into your BCD. Then inhale to rise and exhale to sink. This exercise will improve your buoyancy control. Your fins must always remain touching the bottom. After removing your weight belt, use your right hand and place it under your legs. Roll over, grasp your buckle end and lift towards your waist and tighten. Another method is to grasp both sides with your right hand, pass it around your back, grasp the buckle end with your left hand and then tighten. When removing your BCD, make sure to have a firm hold of your regulator so it doesn't come out of your mouth. Slip through your right arm and grab your tank. Push it around your back. After putting through your left arm, tighten up your waist straps. Next, tighten up your arm straps. Then, you'll be okay. Hover by adding some air into your BCD, then inhaling and exhaling while staying neutrally buoyant. While ascending, release all the air out of your BCD. Look up, put both hands up with your left hand holding your BCD hose. Breathe normally and kick slowly, ascending no faster than 18 meters a minute. Avoid rapid ascents by remembering to release the air out of your BCD. Manually inflate your BCD by taking a breath, pushing the deflate button, and exhale into your hose. You must also be able to do this underwater. Remember to push your purge button to expel any water that's inside your regulator. You must be able to float on the surface for 10 minutes and swim 200 meters any which way you feel comfortable. Before descending, make a compass heading, note the time, signal to your body, look down, then release the air out of your BCD. You will need to perform a partial mask clearing as well as a full mask removal and replacement. While buddy breathing, you will simulate an out of air situation and share a tank with your buddy and ascend slowly. Underwater navigation is an essential skill every diver should know. Here you'll learn how to do a reciprocal heading. After all the skill requirements are complete, we can explore the unique landscapes, natural and man-made.
discover the remarkable marine life, big and small, in the oceans beneath us and have some fun. Here's a peek at what you will see. Thank you.